Acting Inspector Scott, welcome. Please do come in and take a seat. I'm ACC Wilma Murray, OC Recruitment and Promotion. See this as a kind of pre-interview if you like. We're here to discuss the possibility of your acting role as an inspector being made more permanent. Aye, I mean, I, I, am um... We're in the Navy now. We are? No, I, I is a naval term. Oh, aye. Just thought I'd lighten the mood. Uh, you seem rather ill at ease, ADI Scott. What's the problem? Just, I was kind of expecting more as you know. Usually when I'm here, there's about six facing me across the desk. That's a disciplinary panel. Aye, right enough. Good call, boss. We'll keep this formal, ADI Scott, if you don't mind. Shite. I'm sorry, ma'am. No bugger to help me it was to be bow ties and that caper. No, not formal dress. Formal in terms of rank. Oh, aye, ma'am. Bang on. Just you fire away. But while we're on the subject of discipline, let's cover a few points. Do we have to? Indeed we do. <laughs> It's as well these machines are fitted with the scrolling function. There's uh, quite a list here. Really? Yeah. Quite unlike just about anything else I've seen. Let me see. Threatened to, and I quote, shite in a member of public's dinner. Please do tell me how that came about. The arsehole, the gentleman concerned, was impeding an investigation. Terrorism at that, ma'am. Ah, Yes, this is when you terrorised the owner of an Indian restaurant in Kinloch. Says here that the gentleman concerned had to seek counselling following the incident. Ah, well, that was unfortunate. Mistaken identity. I never threatened to shite in his dinner. It was the other bloke. Though I spent the whole weekend on the lavvy once after a curry of his. Near had to seek counselling myself. <laughs> so you're telling me you bore some kind of grudge against this man? No, no in the slightest. Anywho... Ella, Mrs S, ma'am, she told me it was because I left the rice suit on the counter all night. I and I didn't heat it up right the next morning. Oh, so you enjoy curry for breakfast? No, no, I dropped, ma'am, in near three years. Oh, commendable, I'm sure. What prompted this lifestyle change? Health, career, fiscal considerations? Aye, something like that. Plus, I didn't want to set eyes on they wee Mexicans again. Mexicans? Ah, just something I suffered when I had too much to drink. Wee warning, if you like. I used to see they wee Mexicans at the bottom of the bed, with big guitars and that. You know how it is when you've had a right go in the bevy for a few days, eh? <laughs> no. Oh. Mariachi? No, nope, never saw her, ma'am. I, I see. But it's soft drinks from now on. Oh, aye. 100%, boss. Uh, ma'am. So this didn't impact on your work? You do have an excellent attendance record. Oh, aye, ma'am. I can hold my hand up right now and promise that it didn't matter what state I was in, I always made it to work. I see. Let's move on, I think. You've seen your fair share of misfortune in your time in the job. Ooh, shot twice, I note. Aye, by the same bloke, Tate. At the same time? No, about 15 years apart. Oh, so it's fair to say this man bore a grudge against you? James Mackey, yes? I've heard of him. Low life type from the worst part of Glasgow. Aye, he grew up just along the street for me. <coughs> oh, I do apologise. Nothing to apologise for, ma'am. You are what you are and that's it. Indeed. Now, let's move on to some more challenging subjects, shall we? Race issues. That's one thing I've never had a problem with. Glad to hear it. I'm no a gambling man. The racing's never on in our house. Uh, no, race. As in racial issues, man. Ma'am. Black, white, yellow, pink with green spots. As long as they can do the job, I'm no bothered. It's lazy, useless bastards I can't stand. Pardon the French, ma'am. And those on the other side of the fence? The Parsons. Nice folk. Me and Bobby play the balls, you know. No, not your neighbours. Criminals, wrongdoers, suspects. Do you treat them differently, depending on their race? Most certainly not. A Ned's a Ned, that's it. I always brought my family up to believe that we're all Jock Thompson's bairns, simple as. My Ella would back me up. What about sex? Man, you're a thorough, eh? Nay no stone left unturned. Y your position is important as far as we're concerned. Well, I, I dare say. Me and Ella, well, we're well, knowing the first flush of youth or that, but everything in the bedroom department is just fine. I don't think she'd like me going into more intimate details like positions and that. No! Sex as in working with the opposite sex, or as before, dealing with them as potential offenders. 
Do you have any prejudice? Right. Oh, phew. I was beginning to wonder there. <laughs> no. No a problem with the lasses and that. I'll tell you. Go into any boozer and the men's bog is a shithole. The ladies, you could eat your dinner off it so you could. Uh, no. How do you get on working with women? For instance, your superior is a female. What's your relationship with her? Big Jimmy. Unless he's had his bits lopped off, he was all man the last time I saw him, which was this morning, by the way, when he dropped me off at the airport at Kinloch. I was referring to Chief Superintendent Symington. Great lassie, brave as they come. You want to have seen her scaling on wall back in Blan a few years ago, like a limpet she was. Yes, I see. But you've no problem taking orders from a female. Are you kidding? I've been taking orders for Ella for the last 30 years. I don't know about yours, but there's only one boss in our house. <laughs> yeah, same in mine. Mm, same all over. Mandy wears the trousers in our house. You have lassie. Mandy is my wife, A.D.I. Scott. Oh, right Oh, Smashing. I'm right into that. Live and let live. <laughs> he, she, it. I'll call a spade a spade, ma'am. Good on you. <clears throat> what do you think are your greatest weaknesses, Brian? Uh, I do like digestive biscuits with jam. I've developed a right sweet tooth since I came off the bevy and that. At work, Brian, what do you think you're not very good at? Hmm. I've never quite got the old heater in the computers and that, but I get by. It's like my old father used to say, if it doesn't work the first time, gear a good boot and things will be right on the nail. Yes? I see. I'll be with you shortly. Um... I must apologise, ADI Scott. Something's come up. Oh, nothing serious, I hope. One of our new recruits has been caught in a sauna. I like a nice sauna myself. What's up with that? Not that kind of sauna. Oh, haha. <laughs> right. I'll give you some peace. Yes, please. Take a seat outside. Again, my apologies. No bother, ma'am. Fair enjoying our wee chat, so I was. Yes, indeed. Hi, doll. It's me. Don't you worry, going like a dream, Ella, so is. I'll be home with pips on the odd shooter, no danger. Performed by David Monteith and Lindsay Cooper. Produced by David Monteith at Steam Powered Studios. Written by Denzel Myrick. This was a Houses of Steel production for Berlin Limited. <laughs>